When it comes to packaging our projects so we can distribute them and send them to anyone, the first thing we need to set up on our machine is Visual Studio, the community version. You can go to the link in the description or just Google this, then click on download. Let's set this up. We are using the Visual Studio community version 2022. Let's make this large. When you set up Visual Studio for the first time, you need to enable or add three main workloads in order for the package to work correctly. We need the .NET desktop development, we need the desktop development with C++, and we also need the game development with C++. Enable these three and click on install. This will take some time to set up and download. We have about 14 gigs to download. With that being said, you can make some coffee and come back when the download and setup is finished. When download is finished, you can sign in or you can skip. You can start Visual Studio, but we don't want it. We just want to open Unreal Engine now. So let's close this and let's open Unreal. The best way to figure out if your Windows environment is set up for packaging your project is to start a new project, completely new project, as I have here, and try to go to platforms, Windows, and package the project. This is how we package our projects. Of course, there are other settings we will take a look at later. However, before I do anything, I wanted to see if my environment is set up correctly. And since the morning, no, it's not. I was getting errors all the time. And while reading some of these errors, they were related to some individual components that were not installed. So if you open Visual Studio and you go to modify, you may want to go to individual components and you want to search for MSVC, then type 1438. You will see the numbers of versions and whatnot in the error logs here and you need to install them. If you have any problems, you can use things like ChatGBT so you can copy the texts and ask it to help you with debugging the problems and of course our good old friend Google. So I was searching some of the errors I have here and click on the first or the second result to see what's happening and from there I would go install packages, uninstall packages, and I wish if this was easier, I look forward to reading your comments and help debug your problems with building your Unreal projects. So in my case, I needed to install some individual components, the MSVC, these versions, and basically anything that's related for the build tools, not everything, but some components. And I was reading in the forums, other people problems, how are they solving their problems and trying things until finally I was able to package a project. Once my project is packaged, I will show you how we can do that. All right, let's talk about packaging. Now, this is my main project and this project has so many plugins, so many files and tools and things that can make problems for packaging. And for me, every time I want to package a project, I create a new Unreal Engine project. So here is another project, it's the same project, exact same project, the only main difference this project here is focused just on the villas and the other project here, the AEC Explorer, is what I use to create all our AEC projects because it has materials, plugins, tools, and so on. So I will close this project, but before I do, what I did is simply opening Epic Games Launcher, start a new project, select the architecture template, and then I would go to my main project, right click the main map I want to migrate or package, asset actions, migrate, keep everything at default because this will copy all the files we need for this specific map. Click OK, select the content folder of our new Unreal project and then click on select folder and give it a few seconds to migrate. This here, our new Unreal project, the one we just migrated the level to. And in order to package this project, we need to go to edit project settings and go to maps. Here we need to change two settings. The first setting is the game default map, the level that will open when we open our executable file. Right now it's set to main, which is the default map when you create any new project. We need to change this to our current level here. So I will go here, click and search for the level we want to open. Let's say this is our level. The second thing we want to change is the game mode. So if you're using the default game mode or the first person or the third person or any game mode, you can set that from here. In my case, I already have a game mode. I will select that and that should be it for this page. One other thing you need to change 
is the description under about you can set the description the name of your project the project version the publisher your company name the home page any important settings that you want to change so here i have our main project and if i go to project settings you can see that i have a thumbnail description website email and so on and in addition to these settings once you set them up you want to scroll all the way down to platforms go to windows and under compiler version this is usually at default i change it to visual studio 2022 just in case and in addition to this you can set the splash screen for the editor and for the game again if i show you my other project if i go all the way down under platforms i have these splash screens and i have unreal engine as my project icon so we can close the project now once you set the settings you want you also may want to set up cesium plugin if you are using cesium so in my case you cannot even open the level if you don't have cesium plugin enabled so we go to edit plugins search for cesium for unreal enable it restart your engine and that's the only plugin i want to enable for this project everything else i will keep on default now click on platforms windows package project and this will ask you to set a location for your project before we do that, just let's go back to project settings and talk a little bit about packaging. So here I have everything at default and the only thing you may want to change is the build configuration from development to shipping. This will lower your file size and also won't allow for console commands or any other settings to be used in the packaged project so let's set this to shipping in addition to that if you go to where we have packaging go to advanced and scroll down under here list of maps to include into the packaged build and add other maps that you want to build in your project if you have more maps that you want to build so right now i only have just maple villas i don't want to package any other maps but if you do then you want to set that from here for this, I will click on this arrow and I click on delete. In terms of the basics, these are all the settings you want to care about. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments and we can dive deeper into packaging projects, debugging problems based on your questions and comments on this video. For now, we can close the project settings. Everything is fine. One final thing before you do that, of course, if you did not add the player start, so depending on where you want for your player to start, we can go to the add menu, search for player start and add that to your level. So I've added this here. And depending on how much programming you did for your project, right now this project has no blueprints. The only thing I need to do is to escape the project when we hit escape. So I will click here, open the level blueprint, give it a few seconds, and I will click on search. So right click escape. When it's pressed, we want to quit the game. That's it. That's the minimum you can do if you want to package your project. So things would be nice. Now let's go to platforms, windows, package project. I will delete this folder. So right now in my desktop, I have a folder called builds. I will select that folder and I will click on select and the packaging process will start. If you click on show the output log here, you're going to see the output. This might take some time 30 minutes 40 minutes 20 minutes it depends on the scale of your project and how many assets you have so let's give it some time make some coffee and now packaging is finished it took about 45 seconds because i built the project earlier that was fast but for the first time as i said it will take some time so now if we go to our folder where we packaged the project we're gonna find these files the name of the project the icon so we kept this at default you will find a folder called engine with all the important files the content and the project maple project here so if i right click to see the size of my project it's about five gigs now if i click on run so let's run our project here it'll take a few seconds and here we are and things will be exactly as intended so that's very very nice i can zoom in can zoom out i can switch to my third person character here are some decals that's funny and we can also switch to cesium drone to fly around our project 
Now I can share this project with anyone and they will only open the project, the executable file. And if I press on escape, it will quit the game or the project. So my next steps for me is to keep polishing my project, make it nicer, make more beautiful cinematics. And I imagine the same on your end. Something I want you to do is don't wait to the end of your project so you can package it. Packaging a project is a process we do every couple of days just so we make sure that everything is working as intended. You might add files, maps or textures. You don't know what can break the packaging of your project. So keep this in mind. Package your project every couple of days so you can ensure that it will package correctly and you won't have so many errors. Speaking of errors, let me know what type of errors you have in the comments and I will do my best to help everyone and I hope also from you, the viewers, to read the comments and help each other so we can make something beautiful share it and show the world what you guys are working on. I really, really look forward to seeing your projects, your progress, your cinematics, and I look forward to experience your creations. I hope you found this tutorial series as useful as much as possible. I did my best to make it short, nice, sweet, and I want to provide a special thanks to Cesium for this amazing plugin and for their grant to support us in keeping education free. I look forward to seeing you in our upcoming lessons in the future. And as I said, I look more forward to seeing your work. If you enjoyed this, I don't want anything from you except for help us hack the YouTube algorithm. So just a simple like, a comment on this lesson and others will make me really, really grateful. This was Yahya from VR Division and I look forward to seeing you in the upcoming lessons. Have a lovely day and I will see you soon. Bye bye.